In this lesson, we will speak about cot, sec, and cosec. Now, you have to watch the lesson, well, I hope you've watched the lesson that I've done before this, where we spoke about sin, cos, and tan, and how to find the ratios by using Sokotoa. If you don't understand how to find sin, cos, and tan using that, and you don't understand how to work with right angle triangles, then this lesson is not going to make any sense. So I would highly advise that you go watch that first. So it's pretty straightforward. You know how we knew about Sokotoa? So I want you to just write that down. Sokotoa. Then all I want you to remember is that the opposite of tan is going to be cot. The opposite of um, cos is going to be sec. And the opposite of sin is going to be cosec. The way I like to remember it, or the way I like to tell students to remember it, is that the two T's always go together. And then if this one starts with a C, then this one starts with an S. And if this one starts with an S, then this one starts with a C. So go ahead and just write that down so long, and then I'll explain to you how, what it actually means. So what it means is that cosec is going to be equal to the opposite of that. So if that's opposite over hypotenuse, then cosec will be equal to hypotenuse divided by opposite. For sec, if cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, then sec would be hypotenuse over the adjacent. And for tan or cot, which is the opposite of tan, then that's going to be equal to adjacent over the opposite. So go ahead and write that down. So maybe you could make some notes and you could say that um, cosec is equal to hypotenuse over the op or actually no what i'd rather have you remember is sokotoa which we've spoken about before and then just remember which one is the opposite of each one and then it's pretty easy to figure out so let's go do some examples now so here's our first example they want us to work out sec now from sokotoa we know that tan is the opposite of cot because the t's go together if this one starts with a c then the other one must start with an s if this one starts with an s then the other one must start with a c so that would be cosec so if we are looking at sec then that is going to be this part over here so that's where you're going to focus your attention so if we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse then sec is hypotenuse over adjacent. Okay, so now we can scratch this out, and now we have what we're looking for. So now everything's the same as what we've done in previous lessons. So they would like us to find sec theta. So let's go to theta. And we know that the side opposite the 90 degree is called the hypotenuse. And then the side opposite that angle that we are looking at is called the opposite. And then the other side is the adjacent. Okay, but that's only for this angle. So let's go do number one. And then for number two, we'll have to look at something different. So we know that sec theta is going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. And so that's going to be 15 over adjacent, which is 9. If you type that in the calculator, it can actually simplify to 5 over 3. Then for number 2, we need to restart because now we are going to be looking at a totally different angle. Remember that your hypotenuse is always opposite the 90, so that won't change. But now we are number 2, where the angle is now beta. So we're going to go there. So the side that is opposite, we call that the opposite. And the other one is the adjacent. Can you see that these two have actually switched positions now? That's important that you realize that. So we know that sec is always hypotenuse over adjacent. And so that's going to be 15, but now it's going to be over 12. So for this question, they're now going to ask us to do cosec. So let's quickly go write down Sokotoa once again. Now remember, TOA or to, uh, TAN, sorry, is the opposite of COT. If this starts with a C, then the other one must start with an S. If this starts with an S, then the other one must start with a 
C. So there we have it. So they want cosec, okay? So we're only going to look at this part over here. So we know that if sin, sin is normally opposite over hypotenuse, which we have there, then cosec is the other way around. So opposite hypotenuse over opposite. And this is what we need to use for the rest of this question. So we can actually take all of this away now and then just do the rest of the question with that. So the first one is theta, okay? So we go to theta, and we know that the side opposite the 90, that's always called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle that you are looking at is called the opposite, and then the other one is the adjacent. So let's just write this out here. So if they want the cosec of theta, then that is hypotenuse, which is 17, over opposite, which is 8. And so that is number 1, complete. For number 2, you have to restart. You have to scratch everything away. Remember that this doesn't change, because that's always opposite the 90. But now we're looking at beta. You see they want that angle now. So the side opposite that is called the opposite. And the other one is the adjacent. Let me write properly. So if we want cosec of beta, then it's hypotenuse over opposite, which is now 15. And so that would be the answer. Let's do one more with cot. So here's cot. So once again, we start with remembering what cot is actually related to. So cot goes with tan. Okay. So we know that tan is opposite from here, right? Opposite over adjacent. So that means that cot is the other way around. It's adjacent over opposite. And that's all that we need for this whole question. So we can scratch everything else out. And there we go. So the first one asks us for theta. So there's theta. So first of all, the side that's opposite the 90, that's always called the hypotenuse. The side that is opposite the angle, that's called opposite. And then the other one is the adjacent. So to find cot theta, it's going to be adjacent over the opposite, like we've just found out over here. So the adjacent is going to be 12, and the opposite is 20. Now that can still simplify to become 3 over five okay so that would be cot theta now for number two you have to restart all over again so scratch all of this out and you can leave the hypotenuse because that's always opposite the 90. so now we're looking at the beta angle so that's this one now the one opposite that is called opposite the other one is the adjacent so if you find cot of beta, that's going to be adjacent over the opposite. And so that's going to be 16 over 20. And so that's going to be, that can simplify to 4 over 5.